Hello everyone from beautiful rural China. Today is what you've all been waiting for, a tour of this adorable little house in the Bamboo Mountains. In the previous video, I showed you guys what this house looked like just a couple days after moving in. And prior to that, it had been abandoned for quite a few years and was collecting dust and being used as a storage space by some other family members in the village. Some of y'all may have seen my house tour video last year, and even with all the dust and the random stuff stacked everywhere, this house was still in pretty good shape compared to some of the other houses I toured. Anyway, now you know what the place looked like a few months ago. Let's see how it looks now. Come with me, everyone. It is time for a tour. Please remove your shoes at the door. This is a no shoe household or put on one of these adorable little shoe covers that I got. They have cats on them. They're so cute. I have a big basket of them for basically any number of people that comes to my house. I am prepared. Ain't nobody wearing their shoes on my rug. So let's go in and see. So this here is the big living room and it was a little bit overwhelming at first to have so much space because I'm used to living in these teeny little city apartments. But fortunately I found this gorgeous rug which as soon as this rug was laid down here this room just looks full but it's also not cluttered it's just like that perfect vibe that i was looking for so yeah this is why i would say no shoe household because this place is covered in rugs i love rugs so much and this place was originally a concrete floor so i covered the concrete in a layer of this like fake wood thing because okay i'm renting this house i ain't using no real wood let's be real so it has a layer of this fake wood that looks very real five stars to this wood and then on top of that, I have a whole bunch of rugs. I found this in the storage area of this house, covered in dust. So I've got it all spruced up, got it looking cute. No basket left behind. I have got every single one of the baskets that belong to the original owner on display or in use in some way in this house. This is a family heirloom from my grandfather's house and it's been passed down so long that nobody knows where it's from, who bought it, who found it. If anyone knows anything about tea kettles, teapots, feel free to give your insight. So this area here is a similar vibe. We got family heirlooms from my grandma's house. I think they're Iranian, if I'm not wrong. And this is a really popular one. Everyone who comes to my house is like, what is that? Everybody wants to look at it, everybody wants to play with it. It's pretty cute. And this tea kettle was from the original owner of this house. A lot of these things in the house, even though I don't use them myself, I just want them out to be seen and enjoyed because they're cool. Like this beautiful thing, which I found somewhere in like yard or something. I think this was used for making alcohol or it was used for fermenting of some sort of thing. And it is transformed into a flower pot in the center of my table. And speaking of this table, I have to show you guys my chairs. This right here is my pride and joy, my favorite piece of furniture, my set of goat chairs. As soon as I saw these on Taobao, I was like, okay, that's it. The furniture hunt is over. I have found the chair that was made for this living room. They're elegant, they're classy, they match the rug, and they're, you know, kind of weird in like a cool way. You know, I like weird. There actually is still a lot more blank space on this wall than I would like for there to be, but there's only so many decorations I have, only so much stuff I could bring from the US at once, but I am slowly working on it. And this is my little Inner Mongolian style teapot. Here is my favorite plant. She's very exotic looking. And this here is the mini living room, an attachment to the main living room, and it has more rugs. This rug is a gift from a friend. This rug is from my previous apartment more stuff from the original owner of the house this cute table this alcohol fermenting thingy and over here we have another family heirloom just no okay we have a lot of family heirlooms in my house this is from my grandfather's side of the family we have a relative who married an armenian man and lived in lebanon and she made these things like she took a painting and would put resin over the top and stick it on a piece of wood. So these are all very thin pieces of paper that probably would have disintegrated by now, except for the fact that she preserved them in this way. So this thing that I'm sitting on right now, I'm using it as a couch, but it's actually a thing to keep warm in the winter. You can have like 
hot kindling underneath it and then the surface of it will be warm and you can lay on it like a bed but I'm realistically not going to use this. This has been retired from its old life. It's just going to be a couch. And I put this cute little prayer rug on it. This is from Afghanistan. All right, now it's time to come in the kitchen. Please, please. So this is my main cooking area. These are the things I rely on for my regular cooking needs. We have this little oven over here, a blender, rice cooker, steamer, and electric stove. I basically have to cook every meal because there's no delivery out here and there's like two restaurants, but there's only so many times you can eat those over and over again. So I basically just cook all my meals here. And I actually really want to make a video about that, what I eat in a week living in rural China. So if that's something that interests you, let me know in the comment section. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't really delved into how to use this thing, but I'm super excited for when the day comes that I will learn and I'll definitely make a vlog about it and I'll definitely share with you guys. I'm really interested in giving it a try. This wooden rack here is from way back in the day when I guess they didn't have running water. So you would put like a bowl here and then you could like wash your hands or whatever and this is for hanging towels on. Obviously this house has running water now, but this thing is still kind of cool. It has this like rustic vibe to it. So I just have it here as a shelf. And on this bottom rack here, I have even more things that I found in the storage shed collecting dust because they're cool. Like, yeah, I could have just gotten a plastic bowl, but who doesn't love this cool wooden bowl? Like, I just love using things that were part of this house like 20 years ago. Or Some of these things look like they were probably from even before this house was made, like brought from another house. Some stuff here looks really old. So anyway, this is now my vegetable and egg holding bowl. I'm not sure what it was supposed to be, but that's what it is now. And here we have this barrel looking thing. Again, don't really know what it was for, but it is holding my rice. And as you can see, the floor has been redone. So when I moved in here, this was concrete and I just don't do concrete floors. I covered the floor in these sticker tiles and they're beautiful and I'm very satisfied. So yes, that's the kitchen. Let's go check out the office. Ta-da! So this room right here is my home office and my employer does have an office here in Baijiang and I go there like once or twice a week for miscellaneous stuff. I've been teaching a sustainability class for kids every week and that's where our office is. So I do go there once in a while, but I mostly work remotely and actually a lot of the employees at Green Jiaxiang work remotely. I was working remotely when I was living in Hangzhou as well. And then whenever there's an event that I have to be at or something I have to do like in person, then I will travel to Hangzhou, to the city or wherever else. So this is my collection of posters that I've been adding to over the years, my hoard, so to speak. A lot of them are from different countries. Some are also from China, some are from the US. I've just had this collection coming with me for many years. And I've put them up and taken them down, and put them up and taken them down in so many places that some of them are kind of ratty. They've seen better days, but that's fine. So let's see the very last room, the bedroom. And for those of you that will inevitably be curious about the bathroom, it's really the same as the city. It's just kind of old, but yeah, there's like a flush toilet and a, a sink and a water heater and a shower. It's just, it's just kind of old, but I haven't really bothered with making it fancy because it's a bathroom and I just don't care. As long as it does what it's supposed to do, whatever. So there's only so many posters and family heirlooms to go around. So when it came to this bedroom, I had literally nothing. This place was blank for quite a while and I wanted to decorate it in some cute way. And because right at the time I moved in here, I got a blanket with deer and conifer trees on it. So that kind of set the scene for this room. So then I just got a bunch of forest themed stuff on Taobao. Yes, you can order Taobao to this village. You can order Taobao to basically anywhere. I could probably stand like in the Gobi Desert and someone could like deliver a package to me. So anyway, yes, it is possible to receive packages out here and they come very quickly actually. So I got just this whole set of little birds and little nests and little things. And I just wanted to keep the forest theme going because I have this forest themed blanket. And it works because there actually is a forest right outside my windows. I can go hiking up there. It takes me five minutes to get to the little hiking trail and it's amazing. So that's 
the basic tour of this house. Of course, there's one other bedroom that I could show you guys, but I haven't done anything with it yet because I've been way too busy at work to even touch that room, but I do want to make a little guest room out of it. And of course, this house has quite a big yard, as you guys have probably seen in one of the previous videos, and I really want to get around to fixing that up, getting some little stuff growing in there. I want chickens, I want ducks. There's so much I want to do with this yard, and I'll definitely take you guys along for that process. And now one last little bonus content before this video ends. I'm going to show you guys what this house looks like at night. Okay everyone, it is a few hours later and now it is bonus footage time. I just wanted to show you guys how this place looks at night because I got a very like soft, warm kind of vibe in here. And I don't know how many other people like that, but for me personally, I really hate super bright lights late at night. So I have this one really soft light in the living room here and then over there on the door there's some lights and then in the office I have one little light and I just love that soft yellow light in the evening. So I just want to show it to you guys and that is all for today's house tour. Hope you guys enjoyed it and in the upcoming videos I will be showing you guys a little bit more around this village and sharing some daily life with you all so stay tuned.